Well, YouTube, I have had my OnePlus 2 now for about two, three weeks, something like that, and I think it's gone long enough. It's time to unlock the bootloader, install Twerp, get root access with SuperSue. That's what we're going to be doing today, so that being said, let's do it. First thing you got to do to get root access on the device is go ahead and go into settings, scroll to the bottom where it says about phone, and then we're going to be looking for our build number right here on the bottom. Just go ahead and tap it until it says no need, you are already a developer. Once you have got that, you're going to have developer options right here. You're going to go ahead and click on those and make sure it's turned on at the top. Make sure you have uh, OEM unlock a bootloader. And it looks like I need my password for that to function. Hit enable. And there you go. The unlock bootloader is checked. I would go ahead and check uh, advanced reboots because it's awesome. And then lastly, you want to turn on USB debugging or ADB debugging. You can call it either way. But uh, make sure those are all turned on here in developer options. It's going to be really important for getting... Uh, your device unlocked and getting root access on it for sure. Now we've got that, let's shoot to my computer. So here we go guys, uh, first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go to this XDA thread, which actually has all the directions I'm gonna basically be covering here in the video today, all in this one spot, but I'm gonna make a video for them just because it's easier. But definitely this is a great thread to read through. This is by Heisenberg over here on XDA. Um, very awesome, easy to understand and easy to work through. So. This is here and I'll link it in the video description for you. So don't worry about that, but just be aware that it is available if you need it. Okay, it also has a lot of links you're gonna need to download stuff. I'll try to also link them in my video description, but be in both places. So first thing you really need to do is you need to get the ADB um, and fast boot files on your computer along with the drivers you're gonna need for this to function. So here's universal drivers right here if you wanna download those. Um, also, I have the drivers, should be here, but I'm, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to download this right here, ADB fastboot files, and then just download this file and extract it to your desktop, because we're going to do all of our work out of the ADB and fastboot folder, okay? So do that. Um, obviously, uh, drivers, I think I've got, do I have one plus here? I don't, but if I go into, ah, there got to be in here somewhere. I don't have OnePlus stuff up. I have to start adding those to my server. Just get them off XDA for right now. The drivers are right there. Universal, they'll work fine. All right. Um, the last thing you're going to need is you're going to need to get, uh, where is it at? Right here, this Twerp image. Just download it right there. Download it to your computer. Know where it is, and you'll be good there as well. So besides that, you're going to need the Twerp recovery, or not Twerp recovery, uh, Super Sue files. So I've actually thrown them on my site. You can get them from XDA too, but here's Super Sue Zips. Download this one right here. Put this on your computer as well, okay? Those are basically the files you're gonna need. It's good to have them. Take everything you download and put it in that folder on your desktop and you'll be good. So I'm gonna show you my folder setup right now. So here's mine and we gotta go to the one plus two. So here's my twerp image. Here's my uh, Super Sue file right there and drivers are actually up here these are my drivers I'll put these in my download site as well so you have them there too so USB drivers and then my ADB and fastboot files are actually set up because I installed the Android SDK and so they're here so here's ADB here's fastboot here's some other files you'll see in that folder as well so we're gonna work out of this folder so first thing you gotta do is make sure those drivers are installed they're an exe so that's really easy you just run the exe, here's mine right here, just run it and install them. After that, we're going to plug our device into the computer and make sure that it functions. So to do that, let's go ahead and get our fancy uh, USB Type-C plug, plug it into the bottom of our device. And you should see... And what you should see is you should see the lollipop signal here. You might get something about ADB access being prompted on the device. If you do, go ahead and grant that. Um, and then we should be good from here. So from here, 
we're going to go into our ADB Fastboot folder and hold shift on our keyboard, right click, and it should say open a command window here. There we go. Actually, I'll put that right there. So now we got to test to make sure our drivers are functioning, our cables working, everything's working on our device. So to do that, we're going to type in ADB devices and hit enter. And what you should get is you should get this thing that says list of devices and it should say a serial number and it should say device. If it does, that means your drivers are working in ADB. Um, if it says offline or unauthorized, it means you need to make sure you toggle uh, developer options again and see if you can get that prompt to come up on your phone to allow um, ADB debugging. Okay, so our drivers are functional in ADB. So to do this, we have to unlock the bootloader as the first step. So to do that, you're going to type in ADB reboot boot loader and hit enter. ADB space reboot space bootloader, all like that. Hit enter. And this is going to reboot your OnePlus 2 into fast boot mode. You can see it right there, fast boot mode. So now we're going to unlock the bootloader. Now this is my warning. When you unlock the bootloader, this might factory reset your device. You probably should. If it doesn't, it should. And you're going to lose all data and everything on your device. So make sure before you do that, you go ahead and back up everything. Now, if you're at this point and you haven't backed up everything you want, then you're going to want to do fast boot reboot and it'll reboot the device and you can go do that and come back to this point. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the bootloader. So to do that, I'm going to type in fast boot devices, enter. Again, there's your serial number and it says fastboot. Make sure your fastboot drivers are functional. And then from here, I'm going to type in fastboot um, OEM unlock. And I'm going to hit enter. Wow, that was extremely fast. So let's see what happens here on our device. I think it's just going to reboot. Oh, here we go. It says unlock will erase user data. Continue yes or no. It's highlighted on yes. And I'm going to go ahead and continue, and I'm going to use power to select that feature of continue. So we'll do that. And it is going to wipe out the device. So when you get done wiping this and um, unlocking the bootloader, your device will be completely factory reset, and you'll have to go through the initial setup again and probably all of that. So you're talking turn on developer options again, all those things that you did originally. And we'll continue once I get those set back up. So let's just let this pause right here, and we'll come back to it once this device boots and I get everything set back up to go ahead and show you how to get Torp recovery and root access on OnePlus 2. So here you go. Let's turn on uh, USB debugging one more time. And here is, again, the pop-up for granting ADB debugging or USB debugging. And now we've granted that to our device. And we should be ready to rock and roll. We've unlocked the bootloader. Now it's time to go to Torp. So to do that... We're going to type in some more commands on the computer. What we're going to do is go into here, copy the uh, SuperSU file, so copy, and then go to My Computer, OnePlus, Internal Storage, Downloads, Paste. And we'll paste that file right there. Very good. And now we can just kind of backtrack out of all that. There we go. We're back. Get platform tools back up and we're good all right so from here we should be able to go ahead and do the commands now so adb reboot boot loader enter and again we'll be back into fast boot mode so now we'll do fast boot devices just to test the drivers they're good so fast boot uh, flash recovery see fast boot flash recovery and then we're going to take the easiest thing to do is after the recovery hit us do a space and then come into where you have torp recovery image and just click on it if I can click on it correctly click on it and oh my word you gotta be kidding me all right click on it here and just drag it into the window that way you don't have to worry about the uh, directory it's in. It's just easier to do it this way. So we drag it in the window, and now we're doing fast boot flash recovery and the twerp image. So hit enter. And there you go. It went ahead and sent recovery. 
All right. Now from here, it's kind of tricky because if the device boots back up right now, it's going to restore stock recovery um, to your device, one plus two recovery, and we don't want that. So what you got to do here is a little tricky. What you're going to do is you're going to unplug your cable. Go ahead and do that. Set that out of the way. Then you're going to go ahead and and you're going to power this thing down. But you need to power it down in a certain way. So you need to hold um, volume up and you need to hold power. And you just keep holding them. As soon as it flashes off, hold them once again. So see if I can do it. All right, so then hold them right now. Volume up and power. Just keep holding them. Uh, put it into fast boot mode. Keep holding. See if it'll do it. All right, so that's fast boot. So let's do volume down and power this time. Volume down and power. And see if we can get into recovery. Should do it. Just give it a sec. There we go. Volume down and recovery puts us into twerp recovery. Pretty awesome. Now there's a couple things you're going to want to do in this screen. So let me show you those. All right. So guys, the first thing you're going to want to do on this screen is you're going to want to do a Nandroid backup. And the reason you're doing an Android backup is because you want to be able to restore your device to stock, well, stock besides Torp Recovery, um, as easily as you can. And you do an Android backup, anything you do to your device after that, you could always boot Torp and restore your device by, again, holding the volume down and power like you saw in the video. Or volume up and power and go into fast boot mode, whichever you prefer. So we're going to go ahead and hit backup. We're going to back up Recovery cache, EFS, basically everything. We're going to go to backup name and I like to just label it stock just so I'm aware what this is. There we go and hit go. And then you can pick your storage location. Now on this one, your storage location is going to be either USB or internal. Well, basically we don't have USB, so it's internal. And then you can tell it to do a compression if you want. It's going to take a lot longer. You can skip MD5s if you want. Again, these are some options you can make. And then you just swipe across to create your first Nandroid backup. So I'm definitely going to do this. Um, it's just a good thing to have. The other thing you can do is if you know how to do the full firmware restore on the device, you know, you could always do that if you had to, which I probably will do a video on. But for right now, we're focusing on bootloader, twerp, and root. So let's let this run and we'll come back to it when it's done. Give this thing probably a good 10, 10 minutes. It's going to take a while. Well, that wasn't actually that bad. That was probably, well, actually said 75 seconds. <laughs> it's a lot faster than I thought it was going to do, which is pretty awesome, actually. It's pretty sweet. So you don't want to reboot system yet. You want to obviously get root access, right? So we're going to go ahead and back and go back and we're going to go into installs. We're going to go into, well, wherever you put your SuperSU file for flashing the zip. Mine is right here, update SuperSU. Go ahead and click on it. And swipe across to flash. Now, this will probably is going to mess up any of your Oxygen OS OTA updates, especially considering two reasons. You got Twerp and you just altered the system. So expect those to still pop up if you're on stock, but they're not going to install very well. Just a heads up, warning. All right, so we've done it. We got root access. We're going to go ahead and reboot system. Um, disable stock recovery place during system boot. Okay, so this is kind of cool. So right here you have an option. Do you want it, when you boot up your system, to it, for it to replace stock recovery? I like that it asks you this right here. This is really nice. So if you don't want to use Torp anymore, you just want to get root, but you want stock recovery back, just uh, swipe to disable or don't disable. And if you hit don't disable, it's going to let stock recovery get restored and Torp will be gone. Um, I don't recommend that. I like to customize things, but it's an option if you want it. So I'm going to go swipe um, to disable stock recovery. And we'll do that really quick before it reboots. And there we go. So at this point now, anytime I hold volume down and power, I will reboot into Torp recovery. That's what I want. 
So this is the initial boot up. Now what's going to happen after the boot animation is you're going to have this Android is upgrading just for a split second just because you went ahead and you installed uh, SuperSue. This is going to be totally normal. Not a big deal. Oh, wow. Huh. Of course, I tell you something and it does something different. Shocker. All right, let's go ahead and swipe up. Let's go into our app drawer and ba-boom, there is Super Sue for root access and hit no thanks. You got root access. If you want to see the pop-up and grant permission, install any root application like Root Checker and you'll see it. But I know when you get to this screen, if you don't have any errors opening up Super Sue, you are good to go. Well, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. That is my full coverage here on the OnePlus 2. We talked about unlocking the bootloader, installing Torp Recovery, root access, and Android backups. Kind of covering the full basis here. I know it was a long video, but I hope it was very informative. And you've got the full understanding of how to mess with your OnePlus 2. Stay tuned for more videos on this device as I'll be doing more coverage on it like I do on pretty much any device that I get. And I uh, hope you stay tuned for those. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, again, check out XDA's link from, I, um, from Heisenberg, <laughs> if I can remember his name. Uh, great write up there on these processes as well. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Rude Junkie out.